that belt will be mine by the end of this morning. Well, Do you have faith in me? You weren't in the competition last night, and then winner's going to be announced on Sunday. Okay, well, maybe not this year, but I'm working towards <laughs> next year. Oh, okay. I'll have to figure out exactly how you train to win a meat-eating belt, but I'm on the right track here. I've got the owner of a uh, Krabby uh, Barbecue Shack here at Ribfest, George Kefalidis. Good morning. Good morning. How are you? Good. It's nice to see you again this year. Nice to see you, too. You and I first met last year, but how many years have you been around? Uh, 15 years right now. So how many Ribfests is that over 15 years? It's over 250, I say. Okay. How does it? How do? How does you keep it fresh? How do you still love it so much? Oh, it's a type of living. Like as we say on my signs, living for a living. So we love whatever we do mm -hmm. and travel all over in Ontario, meet new people. We love it. Yeah. So here at uh, Krabby's, what what will we find on the menu? Obviously, some pulled pork. We have pulled pork. We have ribs and uh, uh, some chicken. And also, as a side, so we have uh, baked beans and uh, creamy kosla. Okay. Well, we're starting off with uh, perfecting pulled pork. So we've got the before and after here. So I'm working towards perfecting my pulled pork scale. Uh, how many of these pork shoulders will you go through in a weekend? It's going to be about 3,000 pounds. You're kidding. So uh, how much does each one of these weigh? It's about 8 to 10 pounds before cooking. So probably it's about 7 pounds now. How long does it take to cook them? It's 12 hours. You cook it overnight. And then you do the process in here. OK. How do you pull it apart? Uh, it's this. So you flip it onto its Split side. Flip it out. Take the bone. Yeah. And it comes right out. Where are you, bone? <laughs> it should Again, come right yeah. out. OK. There, there we you go. go. And now the skin, do we keep it in or do we take yeah, it out? Yeah, you keep it and it keeps uh, the meat moisturized. Okay. And then you basically just pull through it. Are there any other pieces exactly. that Exactly. That's why I call pull for, because we're pulling it. Okay. And so now after it's all been pulled apart, which I uh, will be doing all morning by the looks of how slow I am and how many pork No, no, no. You're doing really good. So I can <laughs> hire you any time. What's the next step, George? The next step, we got to pour over our award-winning barbecue sauce. How many different awards has it won? This one for every category. You use this for everything. For pulled pork, for chicken, for ribs. Also, you are it on the baked beans. Okay. So, a pour and over. Nice. Oh, yes. And then you can do the mix. And what are the spices that you add in as well? Yes. So, we add some uh, dry rub. You can use this for everything. Like for ch That's the one we use for uh, chicken and uh, pulled Go pork. Ahead. So, oh. give some more a little flavor. So, you got it some. Uh, smells Spicy yet rich, kind of sweet. Pork delicious, I say. <laughs> oh my gosh, that's good. Okay, so we mix it up, and then how do you serve it? We serve it. You take this one. Okay. We grab me a bun. And you put it on the bun. Okay. Let's remove the gloves here. Have I mixed enough? Do you think? Yeah, it's really good. Okay, so let's just pull through that. Oh, wow. What this do you is think? about one pound per sandwich. Is that enough? A little more because people are very hungry here in Ottawa. So. <laughs> and that's it. And it's just, I don't know who's going to be the lucky Rabbi's customer. Rabbi's Barbecue Shack Pulled Pork Sandwich. Just one of the delicacies that you'll find here at the annual Ottawa Red Fest. What are you doing? Oh, this I, thought, I thought it's my <laughs> breakfast. <laughs> You're not sick of meat yet? Not, not yet. Okay. I'm going to eat it till I day, die, I, the day I die, so I, I love like it. I like that, that's a sign of a good pulled pork sandwich. All right, I'm going to wait until we go into commercial break before I bite into this because I have no doubt that it is going to be messy. You have some napkins for me? Yeah, lots of napkins. Love so. it, great.